Hi, I'm Catherine Gladwin and I'm the author of the number one bestseller, How to Be a Virtual Assistant. I'm also still a VA, which helps me give you tips and advice on your VA journey. In this video, I'm going to share with you some tools that you need to learn to help you become the best VA. Okay, so the first thing that's going to be essential is Toggle. T-O-G-G-L. It's a piece of software and it's free. You don't need the paid version to start with. You, you may never need the paid version. But what it is, is it's a time recording piece of software. So when you're doing ad hoc work for a client or any kind of work for a client and they want to know how much time you've spent on something, you use this software to time you doing it. It's just a simple start and finish. And then you can download the time report either at the end of the week or whenever the client wants to see it or just send it with your invoice at the end of the month. So that's absolutely something for you to have a look at. I've got a video on my TikTok on how to use it. It is really simple. So sign up for that now. Again, you only need the free version. Sign up for it now and have a look at it ready for when you get your first client. The next thing to have a look at is LastPass. And this is where you'll store all of your passwords. If I had my way, I'd have the same password for every piece of software but you can't can you because if somebody works it out once they're going to be into everything so you can't write it in the back of a book in case you lose the book or somebody steals the book and it's not gdpr compliant so the best thing is to use LastPass. it stores all of your usernames and all of your passwords for every website you go on so whenever you go onto that website again and it asks you to log in LastPass automatically populates the information so that it's you don't even have to think about it you're just in but the other great thing about it is that other people can share their passwords and login details with you via the LastPass piece of software. And it gets even better. They can share their details with you, but they can withhold you seeing the actual password so that it just populates in a series of um, what are they called? star things. So it just populates like that and you can't actually see the password. So it's brilliant. And it is the best thing for GDPR, you know, unless you're you, you're surrounding yourself in a metal nuclear proof cage. It's only so much you can do, isn't there? So have a look at LastPass. And again, you may only need the free version. I pay for my version so that I can have it on my phone as well as my desktop because I access almost all of my software on my phone as well. So that's the second thing for you to have a look at. Now, I don't know about you, but Outlook, OneDrive... Office 365. I can't stand it. I used to love Microsoft, but I'm just not a fan these days. Skype as well. Load of rubbish. I'm just not a fan of the Microsoft packages these days. Instead, my go to is Google Drive. And so if you've not used Google Drive before, go and have a look because it's so much more intuitive. It's really easy to share things with other people. You can share things and only allow them to view it. You can share it and al allow them to edit it, but then it tracks any changes that that person has made to a document. You can do spreadsheets on it. Google Spreadsheets is it's just like Microsoft Word, but easier to use and easier to collaborate with people. So do have a look at Google Drive. I also use it on my phone. I'm an Android user um, and I've also got Google Drive on my phone. So everything syncs. It's I love it. Absolutely love it. It works with Gmail as well. So do have a look at Google Drive. You may well like it even more than Microsoft. So when those potential clients have found you, some of them are going to want to have a chat. Sometimes it's by phone and other times they want to be able to see your face. So, I mean, I mentioned Skype in a minute ago. And I don't know about you, but it is so bothersome. It's a nightmare. Mine is always logging me out. I put the password in. They're like, no, it's not that password. I put the password in again. They're like, oh, yeah, yeah, it was that password. So I don't bother with Skype anymore. I use Zoom. And you've probably heard about Zoom. We all became a fan of Zoom during the lockdowns. And it is really, really good. So if you've not yet used Zoom or you've not yet got your own login, then go and get your own account with them so that you can share the details with potential clients and look really slick. And um, yeah, so that they can meet you face to face. And I'm just remembering when I first started as a VA, I was so nervous to do the first video call with somebody. So I practiced with another VA and I didn't I'd never spoken to this other VA before. So it was just like speaking to somebody like a potential client for the first time. I was nervous about that as well. But it was easy to do because there wasn't any pressure on me to convert as a client because we were just practicing. So find another VA to have a practice with if you're nervous. And I promise you, they get so easy. I just I don't even think about them anymore. So, yeah, have a look at Zoom. 
Now, to enable potential clients to work with you, we need to make it as easy as possible for them to look at everything on your website and go, yep, this is it. Let's get started. So going back to that discovery call, to enable them to book the discovery call, it would be easier if they could just click a button and book it as opposed to having to get in touch with you. You go back with some dates, they get back to you with some dates and, you know, they're busy people. They don't need all of that to and fro and nor do you either. You just want to get them booked in as soon as possible. So you've got Zoom, which is great. You can send them links. But if you also have a look at the software Calendly, so it's it's C-A-L-E-N-D-L-Y, Calendly. It enables people to, and you integrate it with your own diary. So whether that's Outlook, I can't remember what the Outlook one is. I think it's Outlook, isn't it? Or your Google Calendar or whatever electronic calendar you use. You integrate it with that. Somebody clicks on your Calendly link and they're able to book a time to have the call with you. You can even integrate it with Zoom so that it automatically sends them a Zoom link as well. So you don't even have, you can just sit there watching Bargain Hunt and it all gets done for you. So yeah, have a look at Calendly. Again, I think I pay for their package. So I, I don't know what their free package enables you to do, but it used to be, it used to be able to have one profile on there that enabled people to book a call with you. I don't think you could integrate Zoom for f- on the free package, but go and have a look. It, it really will be an asset to your business. It will be an investment as opposed to a cost because it will make it so much easier for potential clients to book calls with you. So, so go and have a look at that one as well. God, I'm giving you a lot to do. Okay, so that potential client call's gone really well. They want to start working with you. So you need to send them a contract to sign. So you don't want to send it via Royal Mail because by the time it gets to them, they're bored. They don't want it. You know, as I said, we've got to make it as easy as possible for people. We also don't want the potential client to have to print it out, photograph, uh, sign it, photograph it and send it to you. Too much work again. We want them to be able to assign it electronically. And I recommend EverSign, E-V-E-R-S-I-G-N. And again, you only need the free package to begin with. I pay for mine, but I send out a lot of contracts to clients and my associates. So that's why I pay for it. In the early stages of your business, you won't need to pay for it. I think you get three a month. If you're taking on three clients a month, you're doing brilliant anyway at the beginning. So you'll be fine with the free package. So go and have a look at that. And then you can upload your contract as a template. And then when a client wants to get started, you can just send it to them. So easy. I get asked by new VAs that are really excited and and they're thinking ahead and they're like, well, how am I going to manage all these different clients and all the different projects I'm working on or the different deadlines? And you, I mean, you could use your own diary if you like and colour block or you can use something like a project management tool. And there's so many out there. There's Trello, T-R-E-L-L-O, and there's Asana, two of the most popular ones. Asana is A-S-A-N-A. Have a look at both of them. Again, you don't need to invest at the moment because they've got free options, both of them. So have a look and see which one you might get on with. Don't don't worry about spending too much time on it at the moment because you may not have any clients or you may just have one or two clients and, and you may be able to just juggle it with your own calendar. So I just don't want you to spend too much time on something you're not necessarily going to need just yet. But it's something to have in the back of your mind, on the back burner, ready for when things do get busy because they will. Okay, so sometimes you'll be asked to share documents with perhaps your clients' clients, or maybe you want to share documents with with your own clients. And it's not necessarily going to be something that you that you need them to sign. So we won't need ever sign. And sometimes it's a bit too big to put these things via email. Maybe they're they're large images or a lot of files or something like that. There's something that I've used throughout my business. I've I've never felt the need to use any other software to transfer files between people, and it's called WeTransfer. And again, there's the free option, so you don't need to invest if it, unless you're sending a large amount regularly. And the best thing about it is, is it sends it to the client for or whoever you need to send it. You can send it direct to them via the software, and you get to see when they've downloaded it. I think there's like the download link lasts seven days, I think it is. So if it gets to day six and they've still not downloaded it, you can give them a kick. But yeah, you can see when they've downloaded it so that you know, you're know you safe to delete it from your system if you no longer need it. So have a look at WeTransfer. It's really simple. You'll, you'll not have any problems with that. Now, if you've been thinking about being a, being a VA for a little while, you've probably heard of Canva, C-A-N-V-A. 
It's so addictive. It's absolutely brilliant. If you've never done any graphics or anything like that before, you'll go onto Canva. They've got templates. It, it makes it so easy for you. You can create, you could even go on there. I'm going to wind up all the graphic designers now, but you could even go on there and create your own logo because you don't need to invest in somebody at the beginning of your VA journey to build, to create a logo for you. You can do that yourself on Canva. And if you're happy with it, go with it. But yeah, have a look at Canva. You can create presentations. You can create PDF documents. You can create lots of different social media graphics. I even refer people to Canva on my v with my VA starter guide. I've included some social media templates in there and they're within Canva. So it is brilliant. I, I swear by it. And again, to begin with, you don't need to invest in it. There are pro options in there so you can use better images and, and things like that. And if you wanted to use a better image in something, I think it's like 99p or 99 cents or something to, to download it with that. Or you can invest in it for the year. But you'll be absolutely fine on the free version until business really starts getting going and you're bringing money in. So have a look at Canva and I apologise for all the hours you're going to waste in there. Now, hopefully you've got a website. If not, when you do get one, you'll probably invest in something like WordPress to do it. And you'll probably have somebody external do that for you. But it would be really beneficial if you learn how to update your website yourself, including updating the plugins, making changes to pages, removing pages, updating the menu, et cetera, et cetera, because that will save you a lot of money. Don't worry now, because the main thing we need to focus on is getting you clients and getting your VA business up and running so you can leave your job, you can have life's luxuries, whatever it, you can pay for gas and electric, you know, whatever it is you need in this moment. So it's not something you need to look at now because it will take you a little while to learn prep WordPress and be confident with it. But again, put that on the back burner. What was the other thing I said to put on the back burner? I think Asana, I think at the moment, was it? can't remember. But yeah, put WordPress on your notice board for something to learn later on because it will save you time and money. And also it's an, another skill to add to your services, which are really high in demand. So yeah, good luck. And let me know how you get on. If you're still at the beginning of your journey, or perhaps you started your VA journey and it was going really well, COVID hit or anything's happened, life gets in the way sometimes, and you just need some more support to get going, then have a look at my VA starter guide over on my website, katherinegladwin.co.uk, and it'll kick you into VA stardom.